the 19th of May, Sunday morning, up around the greenhouse. Things are doing quite well now. Might be able to get into the cold frames now and start getting stuff hardened off. Still got uh, potatoes there. Got the uh, tomatoes. They're doing well. Using my dahlias, hopefully. Do one or two shows with them. Some more tomatoes in there. And again, tomatoes, all different varieties. Uh, Moneymaker. Gardener's Delight and some cherries and beef tomatoes. These are my Cosmos for my bedding. Croissants. Now remember, I uh, grew some croissants on from plugs for a friend of mine on here and he gave me eight of the plants and this is how they've turned out. There at the back. Doing really well. Marigolds, four or five trays of marigolds. There's some more dahlias there. These you actually swap for some uh, cherry tomatoes. Potted them on and they're doing well. I think they have to come out of there, they're going a bit, uh, a bit laggy. More tomatoes that need uh, potting on. I grow them from myself and a couple of friends on here. For some reason you can't grow tomatoes but there you go. There's some, uh, I think they're Mamaras there and there that need potting up. Right, let's go and have a look in the tunnel. There's more cherry tomatoes, there's the cucumbers, and then our courgettes, uh, Black Beauty, I think. Yeah, Black Beauty. There's a few radish in here. Some lettuce. Some I've just put in so they look a bit straggly. These tomatoes here, I don't know what they're called, I had them given me, but they're actually yellow tomatoes. I had these two give me as well, which are a beef tomato. But actually, when they're grown, they're pink. So if you can let me know what they are called, the inbox underneath, I'll be very grateful. There's a the potatoes. You remember, I put them in back end of year. Uh, yeah, back end of year. Remember the ones that was in the kitchen, chitting. They've done really well now. Now something else I'm not too sure on. Growing this grape now. Listen to a few people. I've tied it in. But now I'm getting these leggy lengths now. And I'm sure I'd have to prune them off to get the fruit, but I don't know from where. There again, if you can let me know, please. And uh, over here, we've got the onions coming on well now. They go right the way up, and then it starts from here with uh, the red tomato. There's a peach tree. Nothing showing yet in where the flowers were set in, but there we go. So that's a look round the tunnel. Right, just at the side of the tunnel now. And these are my strawberries. I've put them in two raised beds, as you can see. And they're all in flower. Loads of flowers. I think it's because of a bit of shelter around here, but side of the tunnel. Not getting the wind. I'm going to put some peas at the back of there now to climb up here. Should look okay. Coal frame. Spinach, lettuce. These are some more cars yet. Sorry about the shadow.
Right, this bed needs weeding out now, just in the middle of doing. But you remember, I put these onions in about. Well, I did a video on February about them. And they were straggly, they looked scruffy, they didn't look like they were going to do anything. So, later on, I said, why don't you just leave them and see what you get? And now they thickened up really nice, so I'm glad I haven't took them out now. There's the birds in the background. Quite a few chicks in there now. 